Ese golpe tan fuerte a mi hijo que me lo mató. It's just not right, and I just, I personally don't really buy this boxing story. And first at 11, family and friends absolutely heartbroken and looking for answers after their loved one who was a recruit with the Massachusetts State Police died from injuries he sustained during an exercise at the academy. That recruit you see right there, just 25 years old. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Colton Bradford. Glenn and Priscilla have the night off. Only NBC Tim Boston's Jericho Tran spoke with Enrique Delgado Garcia's family moments after his death. She's live for us tonight from State Police Headquarters in Framingham. Jericho, the agency, they released a statement about an hour or so ago about the incident. What are they saying here? Well, Massachusetts State Police released that statement confirming that Enrique Delgado Garcia experienced a medical crisis during a training exercise. But I spoke with Delgado's family and they say a training exercise does not explain how he had a broken neck, missing teeth and brain injuries. Ay, mi niño. The cries of a grieving mother. My son was so good. I just want to understand why they took my son. Ay, mi niño. Mixed with anger and disbelief. They kill my cousin. And they run away like cowards. I miss you. After the loss of 25-year-old Enrique Delgado Garcia. It's the best of all of us. All he did was study and run. That's all he ever did. Massachusetts State Police say Delgado suffered from serious injuries during an exercise at the New Braintree Massachusetts State Police Academy on Thursday. Teeth missing, brain injury, that didn't come from boxing, especially our round of two minutes. We spoke with former state trooper Todd McGee, who helped to reinstitute the exercise at the academy, consisting of two rounds of boxing where trained fighters were not allowed to take part. And if you stick to goals and objectives, it should should be safe. Can injuries still happen? Yes, but to the, to the level of this degree, you hope not to see something like this ever happen again. But Delgado's family and friends... They're trying to cover it up. ...say his injuries are not consistent with what he would have sustained during a defensive tactics training exercise. Why did he get hit so hard that it destroyed his brain and broke all of my son's teeth? He also had a fracture on his neck, my son. Now they're calling for accountability. They need to thoroughly investigate this and that justice needs to be brought. And answers from the Massachusetts State Police. No settlement is going to freaking bring my cousin back. It's that simple. They know what happened. And while the family continues to search for answers, the Massachusetts State Police says they'll continue to support the family as much as they can. Delgado was training for three months. He was set to graduate in two weeks. The Worcester County DA is also investigating this. They say that Delgado was a former employee. In Framingham, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.